And since we have a humanoid body, we can bring it over to Mixamo. So we need to export this, but before we export it, we need to join the separate objects. It's just easier to have one object for the entire character since we have different body parts. So select everything and join them together. It's probably best to select the body last. I always mess up on that order. So I always have to rename the file again to body, which is my default name for all my characters. And then export this to FBX, select one of the previous characters names, and then just increment it to the current character, which is character 36. Check selected objects. And then I left the export options alone just to see what happens. I normally have to select the correct things so that it works in Mixamo, but I wanted to see if it would export correctly so that I don't have to spend time trying to get the export settings correctly. And then in Mixamo, just upload the character. And the last time we used Mixamo, which is character 3.1, which is Bear Bear. It looks pretty cool. Definitely check out that video if you haven't already for character 3.1, Bear Bear. And that name comes from my niece. She has a stuffed animal or a blanket called Bear Bear. So I just used that name. And we have character 3.6 uploaded to Mixamo. And we can rig this with Mixamo's auto rigger, placing these markers. And I chose the three chain fingers for the skeleton, place the blue marker where the chin is, place the green marker where the wrist is, place the yellow markers where the elbows are, adjust things if you need to, place the orange markers where the knees are, place the red marker where the groin is, and then just let it do its thing. And then when it's done processing, you'll see the character rotating its head, rotating its body, 